Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your mid-April. You've actually got some good things coming through, especially in the work and financial front, okay? So the first thing that I'm sensing for those of you who are, you know, employed, um, I do see getting a lot of recognition in the work environment. I do see your work being um, paid off. So that means, you know, if you've been um, training other people, you're starting to see them spread their wings and you're starting to do things, um, implement things that they've been taught, which is going to make you feel very proud. And so um, I feel like, you know, especially for those of you who are teachers or in who are trainers and who are um, in the limelight a lot, like in the spotlight. So such as, you know, somebody who who does a makes a living from public speaking, I do feel like you're going to be able to reach out on them in the emotional level to um, engage with a lot of people. And I feel like, you know, they're going to help you really um they're going to help you with whatever it is that you're planning to implement. So you have like, um, you've retained the audience attention. So I, I feel like you're making really good strides for those of you in the public eye. And then for those of you who are training other people, I do sense as well that um, your, your uh, subordinates or the people you're training or the people you're teaching, they're implementing whatever it is that they've been taught by you and they're making connections, they're doing things efficiently. So you're going to feel like a proud parent almost. And even those of you who are training children, if you're a parent, especially, I do see that they're going to be making good strides as well, you know, like learning to work well with other people, learning to share, learning to cooperate with other people, okay? For those of you <clears throat> who have been waiting for a job, I do see really good prospects for new work that are coming through. And I also feel you might be choosing between different work options, okay? If you have just one thing that's coming through and you've been waiting for it, I, I feel like, you know, sign the contract, is the deal is done, okay? However, if you are weighing your, the pros and cons between multiple things, and I'm feeling like, you know, possibly two or three jobs, you're in a better position because... I'm sensing that you might be thinking one job pays a lot more, the other job maybe I can push my luck and negotiate for a higher salary. I feel like the company might not have um, extra you know, disposable income to raise your salary. So be very careful with negotiations and just know that they're not being stingy. They might not have the, the funds, okay? And so you really want to sit down and, and you know read the fine print and really ask what is demanded of you such as, you know, ask clearly, what is the job description? What am, are um, your expectations of me? Because I feel like those things need to be flushed out, especially accepting a job during Mercury in retrograde. I feel it's going to be really important for you to read the fine print. But if you're still weighing out the pros and cons, take, take, take some time to really, you know, look through and be very thorough when you're um, assessing what is the best job for you. So I do see a lot of... Um, good things coming through in the work front. You're getting um, really good positive reception, positive reviews. People are raving about you, and I feel like a lot of it has to do with um, personal, like they're saying this sense of magnetism or this sense of personal charisma that you exude. And so people are very um, taken in by you in a good way. And so the same thing applies for job interviews. I feel you're going to ace a few interviews, and I feel like quite a few callback. And I even feel a job where... You might be able to relocate, like to move, to be closer to family or to even move to be, um, I feel like there's an element of family here. So maybe you're moving closer to be with family or others of you, you might be moving to a new location that you've always wanted to work in. So some good things happening for you guys. Um, I feel like for some reason you are very forgetful the next two weeks, okay? Um, so I'm seeing like, you know, somebody leaving the house and then locking the door and then just, uh, saying, oh, I forgot to bring my notebook and then going back in again and then leaving, uh, locking the door and then saying, oh, I forgot to bring my lunch, you know, so you, like you're very forgetful with the little stuff. You're not forgetful with the big things, but you're very, very forgetful when it comes to like making plans with one person and then doubling up and then making plans with another and then forgetting that you already, that day is already booked or that time's already booked. So look through your agenda, you know, your um, schedule, your agendas or whatever it is, your meeting times, check it carefully because I feel like you're very forgetful the next two weeks. Um, what I'm also sensing as well is... Um, there's something here about contacting authority figures um, to either, you know, 
so if you're leaving a job, I feel like some of you might need to contact the authorities to make sure all of your paychecks are accounted for. So they, they might lag behind on not giving you a few paychecks. They might have forgotten. I, I honestly feel like they it, it's not malicious on their end. It might have been forgotten. And so you need to follow up with them about that and make sure you get that done in a very timely manner, okay? So that it's not creating, you know, it's not going to bottleneck and create problems for you when you absolutely need that money. So I, I feel like that's what's coming through. Um, what I'm also sensing is um, for those of you who might be on dating websites, I feel like there are awkward encounters um, either with exes or people that might know your exes. Okay, so that's a little bit awkward, but I, I feel like I, I feel that coming through. And then some of you are just like, it's it's almost like you meet somebody who you feel is really great and then you know then you come to know that I feel like it's one-sided where you know that they are friends with some with maybe some of your exes they don't know that and so you're cutting the, the the meeting short and I feel like you shouldn't do that okay because um I feel like you have a really good connection with another person and for whatever reason you feel a little bit embarrassed so you, you might not you might not want to get entangled and so just give the new person a chance, okay? Just give the new person a chance. It seems like there's a good emotional connection. Um, I feel like you might be chased around by quite a few people for those of you out in dating because you're making a really, really positive impression on them, especially, you know, first, second, third, fourth impression. And so there are opportunities or there even have been opportunities for socializing, dating, going out, you know, having a really good time. And then some of you are taking a relationship to the next level with another person. Um, I feel almost like they're the ones that wants to push things, make things official, or make you know take the relationship to the next level. I feel like you're not sure. So you might be still playing the field, some of you, or you might not be ready. And so speak your truth, okay? Because I feel like the other person is very clear about their intentions. They're very thorough about you know letting showing you how they feel about you and so it's really important to be upfront and honest okay so that's what's coming through um, here's another thing and this is not gonna apply to all but I feel like okay so it, you know a lot of the times um, when we interact with other people it, everything is like a mirror right um, sometimes we interact with people and we just absolutely despise certain qualities about them and sometimes it's a reflection of qualities within ourselves that we don't like, okay? And then most of the time, too, it, it plays out in family members. We might not like our dad or mom for whatever reason because we find ourselves growing to become like them. And so the, the message that I feel here is this um, mirroring effect, projection, where you might feel like somebody is being very indirect, and I feel like they're very direct with you. They're very yes or no, you know, they, they put their walls up. They don't like to um, have emotional entanglements with people unless they know it's for sure. And so you might be approaching this as if, you know, thinking they might have ulterior motives. But I feel like it, it might be like a projection. So just be very careful. I, I feel like this is somebody that you are dealing with as um, an ex-lover. And I feel like for some of you, it's somebody that you've met recently and are still dating. And then others, I feel like it might be, um, so I'm seeing an ex-lover, a new person that you're dating. Or like um, a person, so let, let's just say if you, a person that is, there's some like attraction to them on the office front, like, you know, office romance, okay? So... I feel like that, and I feel almost like you 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 think they have ulterior motives, but I feel like this person is just very straightforward, and so there's an energy here of projection. Okay, so just take it at face value, and be honest, and you know, be very cut and dry, be very clear about your intentions, because I feel like because you're not really sure about your intentions, you might feel like the other person is inadvertently misleading you I, I feel like it's a projection thing so just be careful about that okay so don't read too much into it don't overanalyze uh, what you see is what you get so just you know be straightforward
in your dealings with the, the other person, okay? I feel some of you exes, some of you new lovers that you're trying to get to know, and you're a little bit hesitant about, you know, taking the relationships to the next level with them, even though they're very clear that's what they want. So I feel like you, you have to, you know, do some inner work within yourself to make sure that's what you want because um, they're pretty sh clear about what they want, all right? Um, and then others, I feel like dealing with an ex, who is very very immature so they're saying like an ex who is a little bit of a, like a drama queen um so not necessarily a female but somebody who is like whose life is a little bit chaotic who's a little bit like um just irresponsible and so you're navigating that energy and this person is harboring some resentment towards you i feel like they they feel like you you are emotionally like detaching from them and they don't like that so they're trying to uh, do every trick in the book to re-engage with you and to show you to to uh, to do things to aggravate you so that you could show them that you care about them so don't fall into that trap okay say your piece leave it alone um, stick to a stern face and emotionally detach yourself all right um, I do wish you all a uh, very good you know two weeks uh, it's a little bit like a, a hodgepodge of things I feel like financially is really good relationship wise it can be good or bad depending on how you handle the energy of the other person but don't read too much into it it is what it is so if you're dealing with somebody who's quite immature and you know they're telling you oh I've, ch I've turned a new leaf don't take it at face value you, you want to question it a little bit more okay so I will leave you with that. Uh, take care of yourself, okay, cancers, and I'll be back next month. Bye-bye.